Hello and welcome to another video from School Tech HQ. Today we're going to be looking at how to use loops in Scratch. So you can see here I've got my sprite set up, just a normal cat sprite at the moment, and you've got all these controls here. So first thing we need to do is we need to create an event. We need our when green flag clicked, and we just click and drag that over into our sandbox area. Now when it comes to controlling this sprite, we want it to move, so I could do uh, with motion, I could go to move, and just have this repeated, or have lots of... I could have a turn, and then a move again, and then a turn, and then a move again, and then a turn. If I press green flag, you see what that looks like. And you see it happens really fast. There's no weight uh, in amongst... There's no weight between the controls. So if I go to control, I could add a weight in there between each one. But you can see what happens is my algorithm gets quite long very quickly. Press green flag. We see it's happening again. Too good bit for me to do anything about that. You can see it's moving around very slowly. And I press green flag. It will go through the whole thing in time. Now, to get faster with this, I can get rid of all that. And I can put in a repeat. I might use a forever. Or if I only wanted to do it so many times, I'll use a repeat 10 in forever. If I have a move and a rotation, I press green flag to see what happens now. And you see now it moves in the direction I wanted to forever. Now, if I only wanted to do it a couple of times, I could then use my repeat 10. Uh, if you're not sure how loops work properly, have a look at another video where I explain how loops are usually used in Scratch, but if, if then ones as well, but they are more advanced. So again, if I want to, only wanted to do a couple of times, we wanted to move four times, and I wanted to go say 90 degrees, make a square, it'll go in a square, if I was maybe steps a bit bigger so we can see that there. It was really quick, you can see it there, it is moving in a kind of square shape. Yeah, and that's how we use loops. We can either use repeat ones, in control, forever, and like I said, this if then, which will be shown in another video. But yeah. Hope you have lots of fun doing different projects in Scratch using loops to kind of clean up and make it a bit easier when it comes to planning out your algorithm. Thanks for watching and enjoy coding from School Tech HQ.